write out your little uh, rainbows for, no, for knowing that you're using the distributive property and your multiplication symbols. 2 tenths times 4x is 8 tenths x plus 2 tenths times 3 is 6 tenths. And look at that, you got your answer from there. So it's really similar to what you guys have been doing. Only thing is, now we're using decimals, right? Thanks, it should be easy. You're right, it should be pretty easy. Um, bottom page 155, 7 tenths times 0 point. Whoops. look like when I draw them, at least for math, minus 3. So we do the same thing. If this got to be a more complex problem, what might be one change that we would make here? Or even if we're trying to be really safe here to make sure we have the final answer, what would be a real, something we would do to protect ourselves? Take off the decimals. Nope. Don't take away the decimals. What if you wrote point on the 3? You can't put 0 0.03 on the 3. It has to do with this right here, in particular that right there. Oh, you can put plus and then put a negative. Yeah. Plus a negative 3. I think you put a negative then 3. Then you can do that. So I have 0 0.7 times 0 0.2 plus, or sorry, 0 0.2t plus 0 0.7 times a negative 3. And this is why you want to put the plus and negative 3 here, because otherwise people will automatically somehow just forget it, and they'll say plus 0 0.7 times 3, and you get a positive where you should have had a negative. So 7 tenths times 2 tenths is what? 1.4t plus 7 times 3, negative 21, right? What? No. Why not? What I forget? Isn't 7 times 214? And there's a decimal, so I put 1.4. Well, you put, you, you forgot to, um, don't you put that? You put, don't you put a decimal? Oh, here? 2.1? Yes. Oh, because there's a decimal here. Yep. Good then, right? No, not good. What else is wrong? Um. Think about it. Zero point seven times zero point two. Two times seven is fourteen. Here's the decimal. How many decimals are you supposed to add back? Two. Decimals. Two of them. One for here. One for here. So it should be. 0 0.14 0 0.14 plus a negative 2.1 make this 2.1 and yes you can change that technically it would be proper to put this in minus 2.1 but that's the big thing you gotta remember however many decimals you're multiplying and this is a really common mistake that people make. They're like, I'm just going to do that in my head. Not that any of you in this room have I seen that mistake before where you guys have just been doing the math in your head instead of writing it out like I so um, nicely did for you and asked you to do on the board. <clears throat> right? None of you guys have done that? That's so mm -hmm. not me. Okay. Um, let's go to top page 156. Let's do two of those between four and seven. Which ones do you want to do? Four and seven. Four and seven, okay. Four and seven, you guys get two minutes. So.
Anyway, you got some four. Wait, are you both done with four? Yes? Okay, I'm gonna take it from you then. Uh, zero, uh, zero point two one x. Three times, think, what's three times two? So it should be six tenths x because there's a decimal right there. Did you get the list? Did you look? Yeah. You had, okay. And then three times five? 15, but 1.5 is a decimal right here. So you had that, and then you added it together to get 2.1x? No, I had uh, 0.15. Uh, yeah, Zero point what? 0 0.15 plus uh, 0 0.6. Like that. So I just messed up the decimal places. And oh, so you added two decimals yeah. here? Yeah. So you had 6 tenths x plus 0 0.15. Yeah. Okay, I thought you I thought you had like combined the two of them together, but you can't do it because it's not like terms. Okay, yep, and actually if we would have done number five, you would have had to move the decimal point twice because it would have been 0 0.5 times 1.4 and you got two decimals there, so you would have had to do it. So that just means make a note in the margins or whatever that, but just, I would just write a note to yourself saying like, hey, make sure you're watching how many decimals you have. And seven? Um, I got I'm asking her. Okay, so z two tenths times four x. I don't know why I put time that instead of the little dot. Let's just assume that's the world's biggest dot. Plus, I'm gonna say plus a negative right here. Zero point two times negative three point one. So here we do get zero point eight x, which is what you had, right? And then you had said six point two. This is two tenths times 3.1. Two times 3.1 is 6.2. But this isn't two. This is two tenths times 6. Point, sorry, times 3.1. So if you do this, you're gonna get 62, and you would move the decimal once for this one, but you have to move it twice. So again, that's a negative zero, sorry, negative Write down notes in the margin. You got looks like all three of us need to be working on that. Is if we see anything where we've got um, multiple decimals in there, we gotta count back and look at it. how many decimals do we need to add, however many we were multiplying by. Yeah? Nothing. Oh, okay. Any comments or questions? Okay. You guys want me to go through another practice problem on that? Yeah, I'll only give us 30 seconds to make it. Fun. 30 and seconds for this one? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to do the one that I already gave you a clue on, number 5. Uh, 0 0.5y times the quantity, or no, it's 0 0.5 times the quantity. Okay, first step, obviously, we are distributing 0 0.5. Can I do this? Yeah, what is it? So, um, first you do that thing, and then, yeah, you, 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 and then you multiply by 0 0.5. 
So the 0 0.5 times 1, 1 point 1.4 should equal 7.70. Zero. 7.70? Seven zero. No, zero. zero. Is it equal zero? Yeah, zero point, point 0.70. Do you need to have this last zero? No. Nope. And you're missing something from this still. Uh, why? One. Another way to think about this is think you've got 1.4 of something, 0.5 is just a half, so you can just think, hey, what's half of 14, what's 7, but it's 1.4, so it should be 7 tenths, okay, and then this should be? Um, that should be 1.05. Negative. Like that? No, in the front with the parentheses. Yeah, negative. And the actual answer would be 0 0.7y mm, minus 0 0.05. Minus 1.05. Oh, am I messing up now? I think this one's a lot easier than the fractions one. Mostly just, I mean, decimals are easier to work with anyway. Right, that does tend, is, tend to be the thing in, some, in general. I actually think the, the fractions one is, fractions one is easier, but that's, dang it, it's, it's personal preference. I think that was personal preference. I just can't preference. multiply um, fractions in my head, so no. that, that's the reason. Okay. I don't I, know where they looked at that, but it kind of messes me up. I always like the thing with fractions that you can cancel stuff out with them. Like, I like being able to line up fractions and be like, okay, well, this is 15 over 2 and uh, 6 over 3. Okay, well, I mean, this right away, I guess you could reduce, so that's just 2 over 1, 2 and 2. One and one. I just like being able to do that part of fractions because if I mean if you actually do this right away, some students don't actually. I mean, this is the thing time and time again I tell you guys to do. But if you don't actually do that, it is going to make it harder. You can just say, hey, I'm going to cancel, cancel. Okay, well, one one one. There's a fifteen on top. Okay, the answer is fifteen. Done. What I always used to do. Hello, fellow humans. Hi. Hi. Was I always used to just convert them into that way? Yeah, some people do convert them into decimals, but I think especially the more that you work with them, you do actually see, hey, it's helpful to know how to do them in fractions, and it can speed them up in some situations. I mean, ultimately, yes, you can convert everything into decimals all the time if you want, but especially with some situations in fractions, like it's, you're gonna, you do need to know how to do it both ways. Yeah. You get along really well with Ben, former student here. He, really, he, he also did that all the way through eighth grade. He was like, I'm going to do everything to decimals. Sometimes he ended up doing three times more of the work because he was so stubborn with it, but you know, he stuck with it. All right, um, midway through page 156, we've got expanding algebraic expressions with negative factors. So your favorite, we had decimals with negatives. Now we got more, more neg negatives here. So negative three times the quantity x plus two. Again, what's one thing you want to be careful of here when you're doing this? Don't forget the. Oh. On um, page midway through 156. Don't forget the what? Decimals. Nope, there's no decimals. Don't forget the. The negative right here. So negative three times x plus negative three times two. This, I think, is actually easier as long as you make sure you're holding on to that negative. So it becomes negative 3x minus 6. Negative 3x minus 6. What are negative? Oh. Negative. So you could say plus a negative 6 if you wanted to. I just did two, I did those two steps in one, where this would be negative 6 and it would be adding a negative 6. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. All right, bottom of 156 then. Uh, expand each expression. Actually, can you guys feed me these? Um, negative 3 times the quantity. What does it say? Oh. A on the bottom of 156. Negative 2 thirds A. Oh, 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 okay. So my is that number A plus 1 fifth. Plus 1 fifth. Okay, so it works out similar ways. We're going to start off here. I'm going to put this parentheses around here. I'm going to put that parentheses around there. Just so that I remember to always keep on using my parentheses. Negative 3. I'm actually going to put negative 3 over 1 because I already see this is heading towards your favorite fractions. By the way, turning this into a decimal is going to make it an absolute nightmare for you. Anytime you have any, something over 3, oh, sorry, over 3. Over 3, it's a nightmare of the decimal. 
Um, and then this is negative 2 over 3. Remember that negative can go on the top or the bottom of the fraction, doesn't matter. Plus negative 3, and again, I'm going to put negative 3 over 1 because I'm multiplying times a fraction. 1 over 5. What can I cancel out? Nothing. Okay. Well, those cancel out. Actually, these negatives cancel each other out. So I'm going to put that there. Here, nothing cancels out, and I know the final answer is going to be negative. I have 1, 1, 1, 2. All the negatives cancel out, so I just have 2 left, plus I've got 3 over 5, and it's negative. So negative 3 over 5. And I'll put that in parentheses. Yes, you could switch this to subtracting 3 over 5, or you can keep it as adding negative 3 fifths. Either one works. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. The big thing to forget to. A. Yeah, I forgot A. And I forgot A here. Um, I did have it up, up over there. But yeah, if this A wasn't here, what should, what would be the thing I should do instead? Half wrong. Well, yeah, half wrong. But if this was the actual thing, 2 plus negative 3 fifths, you, can't, you wouldn't just keep it. You would do what with it? Usually we keep them separate because this is A and this is the number. But if they're both numbers, you would do what? Uh, you would, you would, I don't, I don't know. You would add them. Yeah, exactly. You would combine them together. But since uh, since there is a variable, you don't forget it. All right. Um, top of 157. Oh, this one's really fun. Negative. Can you give me the rest of them? Negative 0 0.4. Minus 2.5. Uh-uh, there's a variable here. A. A. K. Okay. Minus 2.5? Yes. Okay, you can help us out with this. Here's your favorite negatives. This is actually the easiest one to do. Yeah, it is not. What do I do? Think about it. All, this, is, this, is, this is a negative. It's really just a negative one. It's a negative one that you're distributing. So what would happen if you distribute a negative or a negative 1 to each of these? Oh, you just make a 0 0.4k, everything positive. Because, yeah, you just yeah. make everything positive. Anything that was negative becomes positive. Anything that was positive becomes negative. Negative, negative times a negative? OK, well, that's 0.4k. Negative times a negative? I mean, I should be drawing these. Negative times a negative? All right, well, that's plus 2.5. That was easy. I don't have a staples button to say that was easy, but you know, get it? Because the easy button, staples, that was easy. You ever seen those commercials? Nope. Really? Okay, well, we're just going to, you know, got to educate you guys. <laughs> hey, this is an important part of your education. Easy button? You can use mine. Use your easy button to find my easy button? Won't that like tear a hole in the universe? What's the worst that can happen? That's the worst that can happen. Just hit it. Okay. See, there it is. Uh, we're stinging. Want to get organized this year? From filing and storage to security and tax software, Staples has everything you need in Staples. That was easy. There you go. Staples, that was easy. Okay. Anytime you need to organize. Or, anytime you need to distribute a negative, super easy. Everything just turns the opposite of what it was before, if it was negative and positive. Wow, this is really loud right now. Um, all right, last one, C. Negative one third. And what's it say? P what? P plus two Q. Plus two what? Q. Plus two, just like that? Q. That's what you said, right? The two. opposite of Q. Q, Q, Q whatever. Q. Q. Oh, plus 2Q. I think that's... Okay, so that's what's different. different about here that we haven't had before? Two decimals. Yeah, well, not two decimals, two... Uh, variables. Two variables. Is that going to change how we're going to do any of it? No, no because you can... Not really. The only thing is, can you combine P and Q together? Nope. Nope, because no. they're not the same variable. So we just go ahead and distribute again. I'm going to put parentheses around this so I remember to keep it. 
Although, is it going to change anything actually? No. This is this just goes from positive to negative, positive to negative. So negative one third p. That's exactly what it becomes. Plus, and this actually is going to change negative one third. 2q would go on the top, that goes on the bottom, just going to make it negative 2 thirds q, or I'll just say negative 1 third minus 2 thirds q. You forgot the p. Ah, oh, man, every time. This is do as I say, not as I do. Got it? Yep. Okay. Um, got it, practice. We're going to do. Mm, pick three of them. Eight, seven, and nine. Eight, seven. There eight. is no seven. Oh, okay. Seven. Eleven's got to be one of them. Okay. Eight, nine, and, and, and eight, ten. Nine, eight, nine, and eleven? Eight. Nine. Eleven. Eleven. Go. When you're done, you can start the assignment. You shouldn't.